interesting fact about the music business is anymore when you get a gold or a platinum record, it's not even your record, just so you know. They give you like somebody else's record, dip it in platinum, put it in a plaque, and hand it to you. Something interesting about the music business. So many things have changed. If you go back from when we used to listen to the Ella Fitzgerald records, the Billie Holiday records, did you know that those records, each one of them, was an actual recording uh, in the very beginning of the music business? So if, when you bought an Ella Fitzgerald recording, you were literally buying one of only 50 copies of that record, that actual song that was recorded. And lots has changed. My guest today is a star of a show that's traveling in the United States and also overseas, abroad. He's been to France, Germany, other places where people don't speak English. And he's on the show today. We're happy to have him for the first time, my good friend, Mr. Zach Hyland. Welcome to the show. Helon. Zach Helon. Some, some people, people say Hyland. Yeah, some Helon. And, and, and others say Hilton. But there's no T in it. Well, go figure that's, that one out. <laughs> that's like that's American people for you. Like American people will go, your name's Ace. I'm gonna call you Doug. Yeah. The best is my wife's name is Nicole, so they uh, they add the Hilton to that, and uh, she's one of the sisters. Exactly. Now, now you have a slight accent. Are you from America? Or are you from? Ameri yeah. Well, I became American uh, about nine years ago. Uh, we've lived in Vegas for like 13 years and uh, three years in uh, California, um, but my accent is uh, South African. That's where okay. I, that's where I grew up. Where, yeah. What city are you from? South Africa? Johannesburg. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, now this may sound dumb, but it seems like everybody from South Africa is from Johannesburg. Um, is that like the only place people hang out in South Africa? Um, no. He's thinking about it, like, like as if he actually knows the answer. He's like, um, no, no, there's only 12 people there right now. <laughs> yeah, well, Johannesburg, what a town. Yeah. It's like the Las Vegas of South Africa, you know? No. Okay, now listen, Johannesburg gets a good and a bad rep. There's lots going on in Johannesburg all the time. Yes, more of a bad rep, unfortunately. Yeah. But, uh, you know, look, I haven't been there for like... Uh, 17 years so you know um, actually uh, I, ha I haven't lived there 17 years I have been there two months ago I went to do a, a uh, concert uh, for a breast cancer aware for, uh, awareness month and um, and it's changed so much wow amazing now what is it like being from a city with a bad rep like you know uh, in America, I, I would liken it to if you're from the Deep South or if you're from Germany, of course, and you're affiliated with some kind of Nazi party. But what is it like? I mean, really, to come from a place where everybody in the world goes, oh, see, y'all got a part that, man, what's up with y'all? You know what I mean? I mean, how does that affect you as a person and as an artist? Well, you know, I mean, I mean, if, if we're going to go, uh, if we're going to talk about that, you know, I mean, I grew up in South Africa in the 70s, you know, during these horrible times. Uh, apartheid. It was bad. It was, it was very, very horrible. Bad. Absolutely yeah. horrible. I never really understood what it was. You know, I was a kid. I, I never, you know, um, and it's funny because it was just, a, it was a small minority that actually um, controlled this, that, that, that created that. It mm -hmm. wasn't the majority. It was the Boers, you know, the Afrikaners who actually uh, um, Controlled the who uh, controlled the system, you know. Uh, they, 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 they were the kept, government. Kept that going. Exactly, they kept that going until they realized that you know, you know, they they weren't able to. Um, inevitably, it had to change, and mm -hmm. uh, the, the president, uh, the clerk, F. W. the clerk, he um, he was the one that uh, took the initiative and uh, got uh, Mandela released, and uh, and they did a lot of negotiations um, before he got released and. Um, you can actually see the see a few good movies to you know, sure, you know yeah, I don't know if you've seen Invictus or uh, great movie yeah yeah <laughs> Invictus is some some other movies will, where you'll be able to see um, how it actually came about but as far as me coming from a place like that yes it was horrible I didn't understand it at first and then when I grew up um, um, you know I went to the performing arts workshop which is the equivalent to uh, the Juilliard uh, uh, School of Music in uh, New York. And um, very, very liberal kind of school where 
where we did have uh, Africans uh, at the school who were sponsored by, uh, they had sponsors, you know, and, um, and we were like one big family. There was no, there was no, uh, you were that and I'm this, it was, we were like a family. Yeah, and we, and night, exactly. And we toured the whole of South Africa and Africa and, and it was just, you know, it was great. But, uh, but yeah, it was horrible, you know, I mean, something, you know, in the history books that, uh, but eventually we came out of it. The country came out of it. And uh, I mean, if you go there now, it's, it's, a, it's night and day. It's known as the rainbow uh, town, um, rainbow country, and everybody's, it, it's really different now. There's no s segregation. There's no you and me separate. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, everybody's. Uh, and now, now you're living in France. Yeah. Which is now, we there's some problems there. We so there. everywhere you yeah. go is kind of like you're shaking up the tree. <laughs> like, Welcome I can't follow you around, Welcome. Zach. What's going on Welcome with you? To planet Earth. No, but, but, okay, so, no, seriously. So you're in France, yeah. right? And there's some upheavals there right now. Yeah. Do you think that, that that's just kind of how people are? Like, is there always going to be, like, one guy at the top and one guy at the bottom? And one guy's got to get shut out in order for humans to just be happy? Because it <laughs> seems like.